Well, it's happened. I've gone and bought myself the new Kane 458S. So, my name is Derek from Tomcat Gas Training and this video is about what's in this box. So first of all, let's get it unboxed and find out exactly what Mitchell from Kane has sent me and I've paid half the price of what you guys would pay because we're a training centre so I've paid 530 quid with the VAR but I'm not too sure what we've got in this box because Katie's organised it so let's stop waffling and I'm sure you're interested to find out what's in this box so let's get on with it so first of all let's get the box open We don't need that. Ooh. And we don't need that. So first of all, it's a new bag. And it says it's the K458S CPA1 kit. Because we always need the CPA1 kit here at Tomcat Gas Training. So the trainees can carry out the analysing. There's a little card on the front which just says customer services and with the 0800 number. So that's got in there. So first of all let's find out what's inside. Is this a new bag? There's the old bag. No, it's exactly the same. I thought it were different but it isn't. Still exactly the same. So no change with the bag. Okay, okay. So CPA one kit. Got a tube. That's always good. Okay, probes, two off. So it looks like the instruction manual and the charger. Yep, USB charger, so I guess it's changed to a USB charger. And it's still got the filters and stuff in there. guess this is the charger. Yep, that's just the standard USB plug charger. So that's that. What have we got in here? Oh, print it. to get the old printer out and have a look. Let's hope it's quicker than the other one. Yep, so that's just the printer. Anything else? Any other secret pocket? Oh, we've got a pocket at the front, haven't we? Alright, there we go. So, we have the Kane standard gas sniffer. We have the thermometer probe. So they're good, I like them. And we have the new style probe for the analyzer. Oh, the plug's bigger than the old one. Looks a lot bigger. Okie dokie, anything else in this pocket? 
Вот они лица. 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 The Kane 458S. Huge! Absolutely huge. Big tube holes on the end. But it feels a hell of a lot lighter than the old one. Um, does it look cool? Does it look good? Oh. I kind of like the style of it. Still got the standard twisty knob on the front to make it easier for engineers. So, what we're going to do is we're going to have a closer look at this and we're going to find out exactly what this has to offer and we're kind of going to compare it with the old 458 and uh, or the 456 and we'll see exactly whether this is a sheep in wolf's clothing or it's a wolf in a sheep's clothing so let's find out what it's got to offer then so we'll start with a bit of a comparison so you can see they're roughly the same length but the new one is slightly wider let's look how thick they are Mm, they're not far off the same size. The screens are pretty much the same size. Even these are look like they're in the same positions. Okay, so comparison with the old 456, the new 458S is pretty much same we've got two magnets there you can see there and we've also got two magnets there so that's comparison with the old one now let's do a bit of scientific stuff I can actually tell this is heavier by holding them this is a lot heavier than this one so let's have a look and see what the old one weighs I'm just going to put it in this plastic bag all the plastic bags are available. I'm just going to get the old trusty uh, suitcase scales because we don't need these at the moment, do we? Anyway, that's another story. And let's see what it comes in at. And this weighs 0 0.795 kilograms or 795 grams. Yeah, 795 grams. So, that's the old one, and if we do the new one, let's see what that weighs in it. Put that in the bag. You can feel, you can feel the difference straight away. This is 655 grams. 650 yeah 655 grams so there's your scientific fact that the new one is a lot lighter than the old one now this Kane 458s flue gas analyzer it does direct sensing of the co and the co2 and it's also got this co uh, sensing protection so it's basically got two pumps in pretty much like uh, the old one did. This one comes with this 10 year guarantee as well from Kane, as long as they do the calibration every year. So let's turn it on because I've not turned it on yet. So there's a new button at the top here. Okay, so this is the first time I'm seeing, oh, it's wireless now, wireless four, whatever that is. So it's a fresh air purge and it's taking 60 seconds to do it so it's still taking a minute to turn on 
still beyond me why uh, an analyzer needs to purge itself when you first turn it on when maybe you're not using the analyzer setting but I have got it in ratio setting which is the analyzer setting so I'll try it again later to see when I turn it on whether it goes in the purge because you've got it in ratio mode so you can see we've got 10 seconds left now to purge doesn't a minute seem a long time when you're waiting okay we've purged and as you can see now we've gone on to the analyzer so we've got five things you can see well six basically with the it says nat gas on the top there i'll say this is the first time i've turned it on <laughs> and i haven't read any of the manuals or instructions <laughs> so backlight it's got a backlight i don't know why it's flashing light but there you go so that must be when you're printing but i don't know i'll read the instructions later so if we turn it that way we've now gone to our oxygen settings so we've got 20.95 percent oxygen now i always find because of the way kane guesses the oxygen it's always kind of out a little bit it either says 20.95 uh, 20.8 um, or it goes up to 21 so and that's because they don't directly test the oxygen auxiliary settings we've got status which is natural gas so this is now telling us um, the time now which is 25 past 2 which is bang on right the date the 3rd of the 9th 2020 which is correct um, guess that's temperature next one 22 degrees C its calibration is due in 344 days. Well, I've just bloody got this. Shouldn't that say 365? Shouldn't it start when you first turn it on? When you first receive it? Anyway, that's uh, another issue. Let's put the backlight on so you can see again. And it says the battery is three quarters charged. And then we've got the menu, so you can do your setups. And I guess you're using the arrows to scroll through all the stuff. That's pretty standard. Commissioning test, which is standard for them now. We've got our pressure, temperature, and then we've got our tightness test procedure. And then we've got the room CO. And we've also, this room CO test, if we go to test type, it says sweep test. So we can actually still do a sweep test, but we have to go into the room test for that. Now, like I said, let's try turning it on now when it's not in any kind of analyzer settings. So I'm in tightness test to see if it does the purge. So still the same screen as last time. There you go, it didn't do it. It didn't purge. So, uh, yeah, if you leave it in ratio and you turn it on, it goes through the purge test. But I don't know, I've only just turned it off and then turned it back on again. So let's turn it off. Okay, let's turn it to status, turn it back on. Okay, turn it back off again, and then if we turn it to ratio, I bet it'll go through its purge. There you go, it's back to 60 seconds again. At least it's not 90 seconds, like the old one, when you first turn it on. I'll try it tomorrow. I'll turn it on tomorrow and see if it goes into the 90 second purge. But so far, it's pretty much like the old ones. Doesn't to me look much different. There you go, we're back on. So, moral of the story so far, if you're only using it for tightness testing, 
Turn it to tightness testing when you turn it on. I've just noticed some fucking lights there. What's that all about? Anyway, let's move on. Now, let's have a look at the connections at the bottom. So what have we got here? There's our port for our USB. Then we've got our T1 and T2 for doing our temperature probes, so our K probes. And then we've got P2 and P1 when we're doing our negative and pre um, positive pressure testing. And it looks like we still need the plug to go in there. And then there's our analyzer testing. The plug now is on the side there. The drain plug's on the side. You can still see the trap is internal. So uh, I don't know whether I st still can't get my head around that, but anyway. But uh, has this got, oh yeah, well let's take the boot off. <laughs> let's take its coat off. So you can now see right, more closely. So you can get the plug out from there to drain the ball out. Rather than it being on the bottom, they've moved it to there. So uh, other than that, that's for when you're doing your um, printing. So your printer will need to be at the top, like the old one. So, that's what it looks like without his coat on. Or is it it's sheepskin? So like I said, it's turning it on, day two. And let's see if it does 90 seconds or a 60 second purge. Oh, it still did the 60 second purge. So, that's good. Or is that just because it's been in a nice warm training centre and we are coming to the end of summer. So that'll be interesting to find out whether it does do 90 seconds. If you know, put in the comments down below guys, so we know whether it takes 90 seconds to turn on. Now, that was the unboxing and the introduction to this Kane 458S. So, if you want to see this in action, look out for some videos which are coming soon where we put it through its paces and find out exactly whether it is a wolf in sheep's clothing or the sheep in the wolf's clothing. So if you've liked this video, why don't you give me that thumbs up or leave a constructive comment down below. If you want to see us doing any tests on this, then put them in the comments below. If you've not subscribed to our channel, then please subscribe because it helps. And don't forget to hit that notification bell because I release videos mainly on Monday and Wednesdays. All I've got left to say is, thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next Kane video. Cheers guys.